Yo, Q, what's going on, my boy? Yo, what up, what up? Man, it's your first time on Blast TV. Definitely, I'm glad to be here. And it's actually your first interview, man. I, I, I thank you for letting me have this one. Man, uh, I'm thanking you for letting you interview me, man. For real. With no, man. no one, nobody but glass. Man, I'm honored, man. That feel good. So let, let, let's get right into it, man. Now, you've been, you've been rocking with our blog for, for quite a minute now. I've, I've been seeing you, man. Definitely, and, definitely. Uh, and and I, like, I like your imagery and what you got going on, man. Like, like. You you a lot of you are different different from a lot of these other artists. When I click their Instagram and I go and look at their page, you know what I'm saying? It be a little bit, you know, discombobulated. They got a lot of bunch of covers everywhere. They don't really got no photography pictures or no no videos or nothing. But but you you kind of different. You kind of got that understood already. Which which, which is different. Where where that come from? Um, see, that was that's that's already proper preparation prevents poor performance. You feel me? I, this was something I knew I wanted to do since fourth grade, so I knew I had to properly prepare myself, which was top-notch quality. If I was going to do it, you know what I mean, do it to the best of my ability and not half-ass it. So that was something I'm just going to bring all the time. Now, you, you said the fourth grade, so what, what you been rapping since the fourth grade? Like, I first got introduced to it. In fourth grade, my homie came to me like, yo, look, bruh, I'm rapping this, that, and the third, you feel me? Like, check it out. He started rapping for me, and I'm just like, ah. Like, yo, he like, yeah, y'all need to do that. So I got my notebook. I started writing, came back to him the next day, and that's when I really fell in love with the music and knew that's what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't really record my first song until like 11th grade. So that's 11th grade, that's when you start taking, taking it serious? Yeah, yeah, you can say that's when I really started taking it serious because I already had it serious from fourth grade. It was, I knew that's so, oh, what I wanted is, to is do. Is that when you actually got in the studio and got to record yeah, a real song? Yep, say, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, so how how were you able to you know do music and still you know do school and stay focused? You graduated, right? Yeah, yeah, I graduated class of fourteen. You already know Surrey County High. What up? But um, see the music that wasn't really that was already pre prepared in my life. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't nothing I had to really. All right, you gotta focus on this and this. Don't let this slip. You know what I mean? Why are you trying to do this? It was, you know what I mean? Like I said, I've been doing this since fourth grade. That's elementary. So it was already planned in my life. Homework, rap. Homework, rap. After right, school, right. you know what I'm saying? Extracurricular activities. Any break time between that riding the bus to go to the game, I'm writing a rap. At lunch, I'm writing a rap. You know what I mean? Before I go to bed, after I'm done homework, I'm writing a rap. So it was already pre-planned. It wasn't nothing I had to, you know, try to stay focused and do. Because it was already, you know what I mean, pre-planned in my life of how I was going to do it. So, so now you said going to a game. You played sports? Yeah, I played uh, basketball, football, and I ran track, you know. Man, how did you do music, play sports, and do school? I I can't do it. I uh, I don't know. It's where I'm from. It's it's, it's small. Not girls, and I, you know, I nah, 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 nah. I definitely. Didn't have that time. No, 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 definitely. I I I had my share of females. You know what I mean? But it was it was you know what I mean. Where I'm from, it's small, so like it wasn't really hard. It was. Well, you was going to so, so play now, sports. You know, people, we didn't, we didn't, I didn't get to ask you yet. I want I want to let people know how far Glass TV spread now. Where you from exactly? Man, I'm from the first county, Surrey County, Virginia. Um, man, Glass TV, I say you about like an hour from me. You know what I mean? But we hearing you out here. You know, you making noise across the whole seven five plus going to the eight oh four. You know what I mean? We know. Man. Man, 
That's big, man. That, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You guys, y'all gotta hear that first coming from my man. He just, Definitely. he just let I know how far, how far Glass TV spreading out, man. Not to mention we out here in Atlanta. We did work all over the DMV. Mm-hmm. We, we just everywhere away. We spread, and it's only gonna get bigger, man. And you said that what, what the influence like out there? If I could ask, you know, I know this interview about you, but I just want to let the followers know, you know, how how far it spread. Um, the you for real. Everybody knows what you do and who you are, how you putting on. It's how can we come correct to get glass? How can wow. we? How can we come correct to make him notice where we from? Everybody, you know what I'm saying? This is the seven five. Ah, ah, ah. You know that. But it's the little spot in between the seven five and the eight oh four of the country that you know what I mean, that people really don't know and you have to really be doing something to catch somebody's eye to make them come down here. And I felt I'm the gatekeeper to do that. You know what I mean? Right. To make to make you okay. Let me let me go ahead and go through that and see what else they got going on down there. It's some talent down there. You know what I mean? Right. Man, that's big, man. That's wow. So we we got we got to get into it though, man. So so what kind of student was you in high school? Uh uh I was a high student. I could have did better, but I was a big procrastinator and I was lazy. So, you know what I mean? I I was an average student. I did what I needed to do to get by. I wish I could have did better, but it is what it is. You went to college? Yeah, I did for a little bit, but then college went for me. College then for you? Could you explain that a little bit? Um, from, from your pain and your point of view? My perspective, college is... You can go to college and gain a lot of things from college, but if you really look at it, the people who in history are very successful did not go to college. To me personally, I feel college is a big trick and a joke because you go to college, they say high school, (coughs) college, end of college, you're going to have a job, da, 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 da. But you got people that go to college, get a degree, and working at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Like, and now I gotta pay all this debt back to college, and this, that, and the third. I went to college and I knew what I wanted to do, which was music. I knew what music dealt with, so I took classes that would, you know, help me enhance my my music ability like speech english business you know what i'm saying i took the classes i wanted to take in school not what they told me and then once i felt i i learned what i need to learn from them i just it was i was done <laughs> so I, you pretty much already a student of the game pretty much you pretty yeah. much know how things go yeah i've been studying this since fourth grade you know what i mean i won't I won't just, right. ah, I wanted to do this. I was studying the game. Studying. So, now being a student of the game, how how important is it being a student of the game and wanting to learn something new, different with the game every day? Because, you know, the game is steady changing and, you know, artists nowadays, they need the game. You know what I'm saying? The game don't need them, which they fail to realize. Um, man, it is so important to study the game if you that's like you going into uh, it's like a pop quiz you you say you want to rap boom 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 okay you rapping you doing your thing but next thing you know boom somebody call you with a deal right now right then and there do you have everything you need to be the artist to do that, or you're going to be like, hold on, hold on, I got to go get this, I, I got to go get that, I got to go get this, I got to go get that. Nah, we don't want you no more. You got to go get too much stuff, you got to go do too much. Next. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to oh. know. You got to offer these people, you got to have something on the table to offer them, so when they come at you with an offer, you can say, no, this is what I want to do, because I already have this that y'all trying to give me. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? You come to him as a, as a brand, as a like, business. Yeah, yeah. Try to sign a deal with something, right? Right, and, and they're going to respect you for that. They're going to be like, okay, he, he know a little something, so we can't just try to pull the wool over his eyes and do whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel it's, it's always good to study and keep studying the game because, like you said, the game changes every day. It's always something new. It's always something that you could do before that you can't do now, that you couldn't do before, that you can do now. You know what I mean? Right. It's, it's all in your way to take what you learn from the game and put it to use best for you. So now, do you study Do you study the greats? Do you study the people that come before you and, and you know, that's coming up now? How um, important is that? Uh, definitely. I definitely. And that stage, you know, our, our artists, you know, these new generation artists end up, you know, starting to disrespect disrespecting the culture and the people that came up before us. But you know. Yeah, they disrespect them. That's what it is. You can call it how it is. But I definitely feel you have to give respect where it's due, because just like these new artists coming up, if it wasn't for the person before you, you wouldn't even be here. Even if, you know, maybe the Biggie or the Tupac or the J. Cole or, or you know, the Big L, the Jay-Z, who, whoever, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe you didn't get influenced by them, but whoever you did get influenced by got influenced by them in some type of way. So, you, you, I feel you don't really necessarily have to go so hard for their music and ah uh, no lyric word for word but you do got to give them they salute you know what i mean get them get them they props do because they paved the way for a lot and as well i feel the old school too need to get a new school you know what i mean they they own them a little too too hard Get them they they props too because if we look at it hip hop as a whole is flourishing. Everybody right. everybody wants to be a hip hop artist whether it's lyrical or whether it's mumble rap. Everybody right. want to do something with hip hop. So you know what I mean. They just changing it into a different way of what the wave is right now. Right. So I actually asked you about, you know, did you study the greats? Because, uh, you know, your wordplay and your word pattern is quite different than, than you know, <laughs> other artists that's out, out rapping in Virginia. You know, it yeah. sounds like you really, you know what I'm saying, read books and, you know, understand the culture that you're in and where, where your music is going and where yeah. it's headed. So, you know, that's why I wanted to ask you that. Yeah, I, I do. I definitely think I'm trying to read more because, you know, I like to have a... I like to expand my vocabulary every day, just because if you have a wide vocabulary, you can talk to a plethora of people, you know what I'm saying? From right. any race, nationality, whatever, just because you're intellect and you can have a conversation with them and move, you know what I mean, your business forward, your brand forward, or whatever you're doing. But if you, you can't have a simple, intellectual conversation with somebody why am i going to talk to you why am i going to invest my money in you you know what i mean you know it's it's just little things of not even just beyond music just being a person you feel me you don't want to be ignorant and don't know nothing your whole life i don't know right. that's, that's just me